Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding lower quality problems and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called problems with three different columns. Problem ID, likes and dislikes and the data types are integer of all these three columns. The problem ID is the primary key for this table and each row indicates the number of likes and dislikes for a lead code problem. Okay, so we are asked to write a SQL query to report the IDs of low quality problems and how do they define low quality? A lead code problem is low quality if the like percentage of the problem, so basically number of likes divided by total number of votes, that is likes divided by likes plus dislikes is strictly less than 60%. The result table should be ordered by problem ID in ascending order. Okay, so let's go through this example, right? So basically what do we need to do is for each of these different problems, we need to calculate a percentage where likes divided by likes plus dislikes should be less than 60%, right? So if we do the same and then we need to return the problem IDs ordered in ascending order. So similarly, if, if we go by this, these calculations, right? So we see that uh, for problem number 7, 10, 11 and 13, we have the percentage that is likes divided by likes plus dislikes less than 60%. So and that is the output. Okay, so this seems very simple and all we need to do is basically do a filtering based on a certain condition and that would be it. Okay, so let's develop the query. So from this table called problems, what do we need to keep? We only keep those rows where the likes divided by the total votes right so total votes is basically number of people who like plus number of people who disliked right so likes divided by likes plus dislikes is less than not 60 0 0.6 right because here we are not multiplying the entire thing by 100 so likes divided by the total number of votes would be a fractional value between 0 and 1 right so we say 0 0.6 right and then what do we need to return the output should be returning the problem id so we return the problem id and the result should be ordered in ascending order of problem id so the last thing we do is order by problem id and we know by default order by sorts the column in ascending order yeah, so this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see if, uh, yeah, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me submit this to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem. Uh, one thing to keep in mind here is that now this can be done in this way, like it's very straightforward and, but if you want to go in a more logical manner, what you can do is you can make a third column called percentage where you can calculate the percentages and then based on that particular column, you filter out, right? But ultimately you don't need that, right? So you can skip that step and you can do the entire thing in just one line here, right? So because if you if you calculate a new percentage column let's say let's call it percentage right so you calculate that and you have percentages so what will you write here where percentage less than 0.6 right and how did you calculate the percentage by dividing likes by total number of votes so instead of creating a new column you can just do this directly right so this is a very good trick to remember so yeah, uh, let me know guys if you found this video useful and until then I will see you guys in the next video.